Sebastian. What's up? There's another one. Oh boy, my favorite. And it's children up. Bites the dust. Down, down, down. Neck crack. <laughs> So this one follows upon Shock Mado. Uh, Shock Mado. No, no, Shock Mado, the best NPC. Horribly fails the dodge check. No, no, Shock Mado. So, any of you able to see Shock Mado? Issue. He's flat on his ass. He gets here. Uh, issue. You look upon the form of the one, the only, the Shock Mado, and the Shock Mado. Stands before an alien as it opens its mouth, a laser beam fires forth, and it just fucking opens its mouth, eats the laser beam. Sharkmado's now mouth is now glowing. Mm. Hmm. We knew it. She was an alien all along. <laughs> Sharkmado got a nat twenty on the toughness. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Shark, no. She's just cleaning up. It's fine. Shark, babe, no! You shut up. Maybe you fire on the leader and help out. She can't see the leader. Take me to your leader. Take me to your... your face. Huh. Back up at the... Golden Park area. A group of the aliens that have been just slammed into the ground, that have been charging up their lasers, turn their attention on that of the orb. Five layers fire off. I need everyone to give me a fortitude check. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. About that. <laughs> Even the people in the buildings? Yes. Oh, neat. <laughs> oh. Yuck. Oh no! Um, <laughs> I'm a hero point that. Yeah, much better. Oh, fuck. So, everybody that got a 15 or less is dazed. Everybody that got a 10 or less is staggered until the end of your next tune. As the orb drastically grows in size. And a shockwave travels forth. It seems like they intend on feeding it much, much more. It um. also seems to be... It's not just growing, it's also condensing. That is an intense amount of energy at one spot. They're trying to make a black hole. Class, is that what they're trying to do? Like a black hole? Uh, it seems like once this reaches a critical mass, which seems to be 20 different lasers, it is going to explode, dealing massive amounts of damage to not just the city, but also all of you. What, what happens if it's stopped? Like, if they, it stops getting fed lasers, what would it do? Um, if it stops getting fed la lasers... It's not likely going to just disperse or anything. Um, it's an unstable form. It's likely going to explode still, unless it is contained by something. Well, shit. How close is it to critical mass? <sighs> I can't ask. Uh, issue, you look at it, it's roughly 8 twentieths of the way there. Okay. Four tenths. Just no. Two fifths. No. Eight. No. Eight, eight twentieths is better than four tenths. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. It doesn't need ten lasers. It needs twenty lasers. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Anyways, issue. Yeah. On top of the firing squad that's about to mow you down. <laughs> you also give me a technology check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 33. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going could, to kidnap you. I could, they're cheap. 
So, yes. you watch as a spear crackling with energy comes out from the hallway and I put it on the wrong layer! Anyways, a spear of crackling energy rolls down the hallway and cracks open, revealing the form of another alien. You can quickly tell, these things aren't just their own individual life forms. These things are clones of something. And they... They're able to create a new one each and every turn. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna send you back, so get ready to die. Let's hope I fucking live long enough to tell you what I just learned. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't die. I, it's it's likely, because, you know, issues, uh, issues not a fighter boy. Oh, <laughs> also, I've just realized something. I didn't make a prediction, so all my prediction bonuses go away. Kid flocked. Unfortunately, though. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> well, it's, gentlemen, it's been a privilege serving with you. And while five aliens surround you, two others stand on the ramp of the ship, charging up lasers. He just sighs and stares at the sky. You know. Maybe I should have done some things differently. <laughs> like not die? Uh... Wow. Hmm. Somehow, you're probably not going to die. I still need you to give me a fortitude, uh, two fortitude saves. Oh, you want to know what my fortitude bonus is? 21? Oh, no, it's a text plus 4. It's better than I thought. Wait, is that right? Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, no, it is. I I have... Oh. Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, three Eight. checks. Yeah, uh, two. two checks. Wait. One... I'm, you should have rolled a 12 at... Uh, the 12 and the 21 are the only two that hit. Oh, okay. I thought you also rolled an 11. Uh, 14 and 13. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... You're going to take a total of three times as many injuries from attacks until you are done being grappled by them. As you manage to dodge a good amount of them, your instincts kicking in. Not just your instincts, the alien tech predicting their movements. And dodging out of the way of some of them, you're not able to dodge at all. Two of them grab onto you. Um, just spongy flesh engulfing your shoulders. I need you to give me two toughness checks. Oh boy, uh... One... Two... Am I, am I dead, Klausy boy? <laughs> You're going to take six injuries and are staggered. Ooh! He's You're alive! A lucky boy, right? As... You know you're not like Reginald. You don't have this insane power keeping you going. Their hands move away. You no longer have shoulders. Your arms begin to fall limp. The alien suit is the only thing that's keeping them moving. And each movement brings just a cracking of bones as it's being forced to do so. Oh. Nani? Sebastian! 